Good morning, everybody. Sheffy back at you again. And uh, unfortunately, this is actually a re record because uh, somehow all of my audio got cut off the original good morning part of my vlog. So uh, I guess all I can say is what happened this morning. So I dropped off Juliet uh, and she was a uh, stormtrooper for her fall festival. Uh, it was absolutely adorable. Um, and then she came home. She had a crap ton of candy from that. Uh, and then I had to take Evie to the vet. So it was kind of a busy morning for me. Um, but yeah, sorry about this sloppy beginning, but the rest of it's pretty interesting. I promise you. So, uh, just sit back and enjoy the rest of this video. So guys, I just got done watching the brand new episodes of Pokemon, uh, Generations, the ninth and 10th episode. Dang, dang, they're good. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, probably once the whole series is over, I'll do a whole review of the whole entire thing as a whole. But dang. So the ninth episode was based in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And it was, it was awesome. That's all I can say. Uh, and then the next one, I can't remember exactly where it's from. I want to say Diamond and Pearl, but I don't know exactly. Uh, but... Oh, it's definitely Halloween themed. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, it, I'm sure if you're a kid trying to watch this, it would scare the pants off of you. But uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. It was awesome. Just thought I wanted to. Uh, just thought I could tell you guys that, and uh, yeah, definitely watch Pokemon Generations. It's awesome. Also, uh, Pokemon Go. If they keep on having events like this. I'm going to definitely be hooked back into it. Um, still, I wish I was trading and stuff, but this Halloween event is pretty awesome. Uh, like I said, the other day I got a, uh, a Gengar, and then yesterday I got a Haunter. Today, let's see what I have. Um, I'm getting really close to being able to evolve a uh, Ghastly into a Gengar, which it would be stronger that way anyways. It's that I went from having like 25 candies or so, all the way up to 113 and you know I haven't really been Pokemon hunting either um, but I also caught a Marowak today uh, which is really awesome I've never even seen one of those out in the wild and hey look there's another there's another Ghastly and a Meowth right here so I'm gonna go catch uh, hopefully Ghastly uh, I only have one more Great Ball left so uh, yeah I'm gonna go catch that uh, wish me luck fortunately the Ghastly bested me out of all my excitement, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, if you're fresh to Pokemon and you haven't played every generation, so you haven't played, let's just start with uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, and then uh, Soul Silver, uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, um, Di I mean uh, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, all, all the all the ones from uh, Game Boy Advance up. You might be a little bit confused uh, with Pokemon Generations because it's not like it's it's not really a linear kind of anime I think they're gonna tie it all together at the end but right now it's just kind of like telling a story from the Kanto uh, region kind of a short story into the Johto and so on and so forth so if you're new to this make sure you have a friend there that has been through it all like from at least fire red and leaf green um, so they can kind of walk you through what's going on so they can like watch the episode with you explain kind of what happened and then you know go on after that but once you get to where I'm at where I am at uh, it's pretty much following the the newer games so if you played Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire you should definitely understand the last episode uh, the episode number nine that I watched um, you should definitely understand that uh, unless you haven't beat the game yet uh, and then I, th I want to say the next one is from Diamond and Pearl, um, but I'm not completely sure, but I know Diamond and Pearl will be coming up soon. So, uh, definitely if you haven't played it and if you own it, go ahead and play through it or platinum, uh, go ahead and play through it. So you understand what's going on, um, what the, and what's coming up next. Uh, cause I think Diamond and Pearl's next, then black and white. So play black and white as well. Uh, it's taken them about a week or two to get these episodes out. So you have time to play them um, if you just play straight through them. Uh, but yeah, so definitely at least have somebody there that can explain it to you. Uh, don't just go in there not knowing what's going on in Pokemon. Uh, because this is definitely for the gamers that's been there for, ever since the beginning. Um, 
but don't get me wrong, my wife hasn't played every single Pokemon game. I know she's played Pokemon throughout her life, but she's still enjoying this. Um, not as much as I am, because I just love Pokemon so much, but even my daughter, she loves this stuff. Uh, I don't know how I feel about showing her the 10th episode, because that one was kind of scary, but I think because she has a twisted sense of humor like me and my wife do, I think she'll enjoy it. So I'll see. I'll watch it again and make sure. But uh, yeah, I, I just was so excited that I meant to tell you guys that too. Um, but yeah, go and watch them. Have fun watching them and, you know, get some friends over and watch them. Uh, and maybe, you know, you can make up a mind game if you like uh desktop stuff off of this stuff because this would give you guys really good ideas if you play tabletop stuff um so yeah go enjoy this i'm finally back from uh you know hanging out with my grandma and fixing her tv and from the vet's office all kinds of stuff so pretty much um let me start with the vet's office um evie has a ear infection pretty much uh very minor they put some antibacterial stuff in her ears and then she also has some antibiotics uh directly after that we went and hung out with the boys we discussed pokemon a lot uh and then <clears throat> after that we went to go eat with my grandma um later on at the end of the vlog i'll explain some of that later uh and same thing with the tv i just don't have uh the pictures on here yet so i can't show you but we have her tv all set up now um, very easy process, but, uh, I'll, I'll show you a picture of it and the setup whenever I get done. Um, but the good thing is by the next time you see me again, I will have another shelf just like that one on this side with all my Pokemon stuff on it. So my room will be one step closer to being completed if not totally completed. So, uh, yeah. Also my wife got me a little stuffed Cubone for my birthday, which is awesome. My birthday will be on the second. So, I don't know what I'm going to be doing on that day because I'm pretty much doing all my birthday stuff today. So, we'll see. Uh, or not today, but, well, yeah, technically today is the 29th, so. Um, but tomorrow, we're going to be doing my birthday stuff tomorrow with the movie, and then the next day we're going to be going to Pokemon stuff. Uh, so, lots of stuff happening. Um, anyways, I'm going to go put this shelf together real quick. So, I'll see you in a little bit guys it's in the night and as always we're gonna just recap the day um so at the beginning of the day we uh dropped off juliet and i took a picture just one <laughs> i should have taken a couple more but uh took a picture of juliet in her little costume today uh and I, I have some pictures of all the stuff that i'm talking about but um yeah took a picture of juliet in her stormtrooper costume um they had like a little fall festival today she had a lot of fun she got actually surprising amount of candy from it um so she'll be enjoying that until halloween that might hold her over uh and then we like i said earlier we you know went and took evie to the vet and hung out with the boys and mostly talked about pokemon while we were there uh and then right after that we dropped evie off at the house and went to eat with my grandma and uh, I have a picture of the restaurant and some stuff that we did while we were in the restaurant. Um, just me and Juliet really hanging out. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, it's our very first Japanese steakhouse kind of thing. Not really Japanese steakhouse, but Japanese sushi bar with a uh, you know grill in the back kind of thing. Um, it was pretty good, uh, decent. Um, not as good as you know if I went to Jacksonville or something like that, but it was still pretty good I got some sushi while I was there and I love sushi uh, then right after that we went to Walmart and bought my grandma a TV and we didn't need that DVD player I don't know if you guys remember but I was talking about how there's a DVD player with uh, you know YouTube and Netflix pretty much making any TV into a smart TV didn't need that she wound up getting a smart TV so thank goodness I didn't have to worry about all that because I'd have to end up showing her you know a remote for the DVD player, a remote for the uh, TV, and a remote for the, um, you know, dish that she uses. So it'd be really annoying to, you know, have to teach her how to use all of those. Um, not really blaming her because, like I said in the past video, she probably, out of all of my family, aside from my wife and um, brother-in-law and stuff, is probably one of the most tech-savvy people out of us all, um, you know, aside from me. Uh, I'm not trying to sound condescending, but, uh, anyways, 
so I took a picture of the finished product and her old TV. Uh, and then I came home, and as you can see on this side, I have my Pokemon shelf up. Uh, I love it. I have a bunch of Pokemon stuff on there. And then you can see right behind me, uh, that was mine and Eva's very first costume. Uh, it was from Bioshock. We love that game. So I have some pictures, like I said, so I'm going to move myself off to the side. Hold on one second. Uh, shrink myself. And then I'm going to do this. So this is the restaurant Kubo uh, Japanese Cuisine, even though they had Chinese food in there as well, which was very strange for me. Um, I've never been to a Japanese restaurant where they also served Chinese food. Uh, and I don't mean like good Chinese food. It was like General Tso's chicken or General Tao's or however you want to say it, chicken, which kind of threw me off. Uh, whenever I saw that, I actually got one of their menus in the mail. Whenever I saw that, it really threw me off. I didn't really even want to try the place, but uh, I always try a place, you know, once. It's a really crappy picture, sorry about that, but uh, then there's me and Juliet. She actually turned to me and said, let's take a selfie. So I was like, all right. Uh, she had some, you know, that was a butterfly on her face, but uh, over the night, uh, I kind of rubbed off, and now it just looks like somebody bopped her in the face or something. Another selfie. Uh, she loves getting in front of everybody and taking a picture of herself instead of the whole group. Uh, then there's my grandma taking a picture of us. Um, and just, you know, keep on, she's kept on taking silly pictures. And here I am with the same stupid face. Uh, <laughs> and then there's her TV. Don't mind what's on there. We're watching, you know, Fox. Um, but yeah, that's her new TV. It's a 48 inch, I think. It's Sony. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but, uh, it's like Sony Press, something, I don't remember. Anyways, it's a smart TV, has, you know, a button that makes it very easy to go to Netflix and, uh, watch whatever she wants to watch. So, um, very, very, uh, easy. She only has two remotes. Um, very easy setup. First time I've ever seen a TV with a power brick attached to it. That was very strange for me. Um, not the best cable management but I tried um, and then this is her old TV uh, yeah that thing was a monster um, actually extremely light for the size uh, that it was uh, but unfortunately she, she she had it for years she probably had it for you know 12 13 maybe even 14 years um, actually I know that it was older than that because she got it whenever the PlayStation 2 first came out and that was when I played PlayStation 2, Wii, uh, Xbox 360, um, this was actually the very first time I ever went on Xbox Live and played Halo 2 on this TV. I'm kind of sad to see it go, but, uh, pretty much what was wrong with it is imagine going to an old 3D movie without the glasses. So it looked like that all the time. So, uh, I'm surprised she dealt with it as long as she did, but, uh, I know she's happy with the new one, uh, takes up a lot less room, like, that TV probably goes from the front all the way to the wall, uh, that's how big it was, it was like a tube TV still, um, just a monster of a TV, but, uh, yeah, kind of, like I said, kind of sad to see it go, but it was definitely time, um, but, uh, so that was pretty much everything that we did today, Evie's ears are doing better, uh, she's still itching them and everything, but, you know, it takes time to get rid of an ear infection. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, I actually need to hurry up and get to sleep. I'm going to go take a shower and go to sleep. And tomorrow, uh, we're going to be driving to Jacksonville and going to watch Pokemon the first movie. Uh, never thought I would be able to say that again, but here we are. We're going to go watch Pokemon the first movie after, you know, 15 plus years. I don't know how many exactly years it was whenever that movie came out, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Let me move this over so it'll be easier for me. Um, I'm really excited to watch that movie again, uh, especially with my daughter. I mean, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be able to say that I was able to watch Jurassic Park. Uh, <laughs> Jurassic Park. Um, or should I say Jurassic World? Sorry. Uh, Star Wars and freaking Pokemon in theater with my daughter. Uh, it's a really cool experience. Um, and then the day after that, we're going to go and get our 
Generations cards are actually uh, Evolutions cards. And, uh, you know, again, it just feels like the 90s all over again for me. Um, really cool time to be, you know, living and stuff like that. Uh, just really exciting for me um, as a dad and as a Pokemon lover and pretty much being a 90s kid, everything like that. Just really exciting. Um, but I'm not going to ramble on too much longer. Uh, you'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, probably won't be able to take too much, you know, video of the movie, obviously. But uh, if there's any posters or anything like that, I'll take pictures of them. Um, with me and Juliet in front of them. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they're going to have Pokemon cards at the movie. Uh, I know that's asking a little bit too much, but how cool would that be? Just like, just like at, you know, whenever we first watched it as kids, they, they gave out the cards and stuff. That would be really cool. Um, but, um, like I said, I'm not going to ramble on too much longer. I've already rambled on all day, pretty much. Uh, but as always, stay beautiful, stay sexy, and stay chefy. I love you guys. Have a good night.